U.S. lands F-A-18 Super Hornet on carrier with joystick, Navy is testing a new system called the Atari. The U.S. Navy is preparing for a future of unmanned naval aviation by testing a system called Atari, remotely controlled jets as they approach and land on aircraft carriers. On March, the service announced that sailors on the USS Abraham Lincoln had successfully used Atari to land an F-A-18 Super Hornet, Maritime Executive reports. The United States Navy is testing a new system called the Atari on board the USS Abraham Lincoln, CVN-72, that allows the landing signals officer, LSO, to take control of an aircraft on approach to the carrier. The Navy has been working on developing the aircraft terminal approach remote inceptor, Atari, but the system was only tested at sea for the first time this March. Conditions at sea were challenging to say the least. I was really impressed with landing signal officer ability get me to touch down, VX-23 test pilot Lieutenant John Marino, the first naval aviator to land using Atari, said. The conditions were really varsity, and it was really impressive the system worked the way it did. On a calm day, it would have been a little bit boring but this was definitely more challenging. Atari was tasked with conducting a touch-and-go landing, a training routine for naval aviators learning to fly fixed-wing aircraft from carriers that entails touching down on the carrier's deck and ascending back into flight without stopping. Up to five miles from the carrier, a landing signal officer can take control of the 40,000-pound plane and direct it to the carrier. True to its original namesake, the landing signal officer directs the plane with the joystick. According to Buddy Denham, the creator of Atari and senior engineer at Naval Air Systems Command, you're effectively using little joystick controllers to guide a 40,000-pound airplane, and it's almost like playing a video game. It will still take years of development before Atari could be fielded to the fleet but the system looks promising. Eventually, technology like Atari or something similar could revolutionize naval aviation not just for manned aircraft but unmanned aviation as well. We don't have unmanned carrier-based vehicles in the fleet today, but they are coming soon. Commandant Schaffer, a naval air systems command, Navia, air vehicle engineer, said. This is a potential alternative landing method and our system performed well. The U.S. Navy is currently in the process of evaluating the MQ-25A Stingray contract. The Stingray will be a remotely piloted aircraft that refuels other planes in midair and is capable of takeoff and landing operations on aircraft carriers. The Navy expects that Atari could be used as a backup during contingencies to correct an aircraft's glide slope from as far away as 5 miles. And while the system could be a useful backup for manned aircraft such as the A Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet, Atari might be especially useful for the day when unmanned aircraft start to operate from the flight deck. Thank you for watching. Please like. Share, comment, and subscribe.